Winter has definitely arrived here in Kansas and the heater on the Buick has gone out. So on today's episode, I'm replacing the heater core on my 1994 Buick Roadmaster. Now I have been driving this car for about three and a half years now. I've put almost 45,000 miles on it. And this year, of course, right as winter starts, I go to use my heater and it can barely defrost the windows. I have to let it idle for about 20 minutes in the morning if I'm trying to defrost the windows. I'm not getting heat out of any of the directions. And at first I thought maybe it was one of the flaps, but upon further inspection, what I believe has happened is that the heater core has clogged. I did give it a chance to try and flush it out and that didn't seem to do anything. So today I'm gonna go ahead and get the heater core replaced. So right up against the firewall, I've got two of my heater core connections. I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting those off. But I do have my heater core hoses disconnected from under the hood. The next thing that I'm gonna need to do is I'm going to need to remove this bottom cover. So you can kind of see some of the screws down here under the dash. I'll have to remove this crossbar right here, this dash support bar. Once I have that cover down out of the way, I should be able to access the heater core. So I was able to get those seven screws out that hold on this bottom cover. You can see my evaporator right there, but this is what I'm after. I'm after my heater core. So this is my old heater core here. This is my new one. This one doesn't appear to be in too bad a condition, but something has clogged it. It's not allowing coolant to flow through. So I will go ahead and get this clamp switched over to hold those hoses in the correct position and I'll get the new one installed. Now, for those of you who may have been watching The Wizard recently, you know that we do a lot of heater cores and evaporators for pickup trucks. This car is quite a bit easier than any of that. I don't have to completely remove the dash. There's just a couple of panels underneath that I have to remove, and then it makes it a lot easier. It's so much nicer to be able to drop a partition underneath the dash and access my heater core and my evaporator, as opposed to having to pull the whole dash. It's one of the reasons why I love this car so much. It has the LT1 V8 in it, but it has been tuned a little differently, a little less horsepower, a little more torque on the lower end. But this car starts up every time I need it to. heater hose connections re-established back in the back. I've got my air intake back on, but I had a chance to bleed the cooling system. I let the engine get nice and warm. And I have to say, it is so nice to have heat again in this car, especially for these below freezing days here in Kansas. And there's a lot more work that can be done on this car. If I don't end up selling it, it is a pretty good content generator. So there's plenty more to fix on the Buick. There's a lot to do on the Mercedes. And once I get one of these two sold, I may look at getting another project from there. We'll keep going. There's plenty more cars to fix. There's plenty more content to film. And I want to say thank you again for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.